This is Ricky Lee. We're here at Midnight Shanghai at Mulligan's Club. And we're here with one of my favorite actresses, Rachel Chen. Hi. <laughs> Rachel? Yes. Play something? So, we're here to, we were going to view uh, the movie tonight, but we're kind of getting some celebrating done. And I just wanted to say thank you for such a wonderful experience. I'm sure there rest of our cast and crew here want to say the same thing as well. well thank so you. many, many thanks to you. Thank you. Extremely thank professional you. and fun and generous individual here. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I, I want to say thanks to all the Wichita crew because I felt really bad because you guys haven't been able to celebrate with us. Uh, when we celebrated all over, you get, this is the first time we've been together here. So I want to bring in some of the other cast members. Jamie, come in. Leo, come in. Sean, come in. <laughs> Guys, have something to say, feel free. Hello, hello. Hi, Ricky. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi. Where's my coming in? Yeah. Well, I think the movie too. <laughs> <out. laughs> I think the film is coming out, the, the series is coming out really great. It's got a lot of potential, and it looks awesome. So you're going to have to check it out. Yeah. And it, it deals with the thing that I like is that it deals with the whole minority thing, the American Indians, the Chinese mm -hmm. and the railroad workers. And so a lot of a lot of things, films nowadays, you know, we're trying to touch on minorities and just kind of the history of things that isn't really talked about a whole lot. Mm -hmm. right. And so this is very it's an important aspect of it. Well, we got a lot of questions when we've shown at a lot of places and People ask where you come up with the idea. And actually, where where I live, there's an old pueblo from 1350, and there's an actual Chinese railroad workers camp wow. from the 1800s. Wow. So when you go out there, you find all these pottery pieces. And we went out there, and there's like Chinese pottery mixed with the native part of pottery, and we're going, well, how how is this? It's just yeah, it's yeah. things that's how, been how did this happen? Been erased yeah, yeah. from history. But the Chinese in a way. built yeah. the American railroad right. in the right. 1800s. And there was 35,000 of them that came to America, and half of them died along the way, buried in shallow graves someplace. Yeah. So no our producer, one of our producers in Seattle, uh, Juana Troy, her grandfather was on the Chinese Railroad working. She's a descendant. Her grandfather lost his life in 1866, I think it was. Anyway, her father went his whole life and spent three hundred thousand dollars trying to find the remains of her grandfather, and went to his grave and never found him. So Stanford University this year is going to declare the National Chinese Monument Workers Memorial in San Francisco because that's where all these Chinese people, minorities, and immigrants were imported in in San Francisco and made slave labor basically to build the railroads. So part of our research was. There was no legal record about the Chinese railroad workers being on the Atchison, okay. Topeka, and Santa Fe, which went from Kansas City to Santa Fe. So what we found out is Sauter's Holiday, who owned the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, he got in a bind meeting his deadline. So the guy who's building the Transcontinental Railroad loaned him Chinese railroad workers to come and finish his project on deadline. And that's why there's no documentation of that. I mean, it's kind of like the, the Native Americans too. It's like right. the white people said, you come here, you do this for us, and we'll give you land, we'll give you freedom, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. But then as soon as you know they completed their end right. of the bargain, then I was like, nope, we're right. done with you. We don't care about you anymore. That's right. So. And, it's, and it's kind of like my Muslim brothers right here are going through the same thing right yeah. now. Right? Yeah. Come up here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on man, we're all brothers, come on. I just met these guys, they're from Saudi Arabia, come on up, come on man. You're going to love the film. Yeah, check us out on YouTube or on Facebook, Midnight Shanghai, and we love you guys, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Come on, get up here, come on, cowboy. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, I'll switch out with you. <laughs> Jim, come over here. DJ. <laughs> so anyway, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. Don't be stuck holding the camera. You it's been kind of a rocky, uh, rocky week, as you guys know. And uh, God, I wish I had my M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> not in your mouth, not in your hand. That's right. So you can drop them?
Yeah. 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 That's pretty Something clever. Something like that. So anyway, I want to thank you guys again for coming out. Deeply appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts all the work and effort that's gone into this for almost, well, over a year now. Yeah. And all the 60, 68 people in the cast and crew. Almost two years. You know? It has been, yeah. yeah. So we appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.